All right, so here's what we picked up today. It's a 2021 Piranha Z90. Uh, it's made by Piranha. Um, they say it's better than the Z50. Uh, of course, I got two of them over here. And uh, it's, actually, it's actually a very, very nice... Uh, remake of it um i ended up buying this bike for uh came out to be like 1600 right around 1600 but uh she's she's a little bit different she's got the, the beefier swing arm and the, the bigger forks and it's got disc brakes um now this is the 90 cc so it uses the uh, semi-automatic just like the old ones um they do offer this bike in a 140 cc um, I didn't, I didn't want to get that just cause, uh, this bike is going to be the next size up for my son who's, uh, got a CR, CRF 50. Um, but, uh, this is a nice little bike uh, and it, it is different. Uh, the tank's a lot bigger on this bike here. Um, the plastic seemed to kind of flare out a little bit. I think that's because of the shocks. But it it says it's got gas gas shocks on it. Um, I don't know if they're just there for looks. I know how some of the Chinese bikes have uh, what looks to be gas canisters on them, and they're just kind of there for for looks. But uh, this thing is cool, it, and it and it actually sounds like a Z50. Um, now, as far as the fit and finish on this bike. Uh, I kind of had a little ordeal at the at the dealer. Um, this bike here, when I when I was looking at it, had a real spongy uh, caliper. I told them, I says, "You guys gonna have to bleed the brakes on this, or drop the price, and I'll do it myself." Uh, but they ended up uh, bleeding the brakes out, so she's got nice brakes up front. Um, but uh, it's nice. I mean, it's a nice little rider. Um, there are certain things I don't like about it. Um, it's piranha. Um, I don't much care for this foot brake right here. It looks like a looks like a gold wing foot brake. Um, some of you guys might like that. I like the small one because I know when I let my my little boy ride this thing, uh, he's gonna dump it. And this is uh, let's see how long that lasts. How about that? Um, but it runs good. Let's see. I was kind of running, running her out of gas. But she sounds, she sounds good. I'm running her out of gas. I got the gas off, so she's gonna stammer a little bit. Nice and quiet. Um, no, it's nice. I think Piranha did a fantastic job bringing this bike back. You know, it's been, the Z50's been gone for a little over 20 years now, and, uh, it's nice to see it back. And this, in this, uh, image makes you wonder how Honda could have really taken off with this bike. You know, I think the big tires are cool. I think... I think everything about the Z50 is a lot cooler than the uh, than the CRF 50. Um, no, it's nice. They did really good. I'm I'm quite happy with it. Um, now, as far as durability goes, I, I I've had the 140 uh, Piranha motor on an ATC that I had done, and it was just an animal, and I never had any problems with it. Um, these Piranha motors seem to seem to be pretty good. I'm I'm sure. Some people have had their issues with them, but, uh, you know, this is a, it's a nice bike. I'll tell you, some of the things that I like to see are inspection marks. That means they're paying attention. They want quality from their motors and their builders. So, you know, uh, I like seeing inspection marks on a motor, on a bike for, 
in general. It's got the uh, breakaway lever here. I think they did good, you know. But the tank's actually got like a metallic flake in it. It's kind of hard to see. It's got like a pearl in there. But uh, the only thing I I would guess I would complain about, they could have done something better with the seat. I mean, the seat on my 93 looks better than this. I just think they could have uh, put a nicer seat on there. You can see it's got some wrinkles and fluffs and stuff. I don't know. I'm not too picky on it. But, uh, you know, Piranha's making them. Honda's not, you know. It's got the taller bars on it, so it's it definitely fits good. But uh, not a whole lot of review videos on YouTube on this bike. I might do some just to kind of give an, an impression on it, you know. Still love my old ones, though. I can't touch the old ones. But this one, for a modern-day, you know, pit bike, I think this bike does pretty good. It's got the disc brake up here. It's nice. And, uh, you know, I'm I'm pretty picky when it comes to a bike. I, I tried to pick this bike apart when I was looking at it at the dealer. And they only had two. And I got the bike from uh, Redline Motorsports out of Columbia, South Carolina. And uh, they did they worked pretty well with me on this. They came off 50 bucks because I was unhappy with the spongy brake that they uh, that they had. I told them, you know, I said, you're going to sell brand new bikes. You know, it doesn't need to have anything wrong with it. You know, you got to. Do a good job on your PMs or have, you know, have somebody look it over really good before you put it on the floor. So this bike's got a heat shield right under here. I think that's good. This bike's got some good, some good deals. Pretty happy with it. We're going to do some reviews on this bike. I'll, I'll do some riding videos going up and down the street. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted my son to have a... He's coming off the CRF50, and I wanted him to come on to one of these. I think this is a good bike to uh, try to have him build some, some good memories on a Z50, you know. I'm going to sell this little CRF70 I got. I just rebuilt the motor on it last November. So he was riding that for a little bit. He can't really touch the ground on it, but, uh, you know, he, he loves his uh, CRF50. That's been a good bike for him, but uh, that's pretty much it. Piranha ZR50, I mean, sorry, Piranha ZR90. <laughs> All right, guys, see y'all later.